This video is now in session, and there has been some change involving the Florida governor's mansion. So, uh, at least in terms of polls, and as well as uh, the overall direction of what Floridians think of the governor's mansion and Ron DeSantis's uh, handling of the COVID-19 pandemic. So, Ron DeSantis is widely known at this point. Uh, he has been nationalized by both the media and as well as Republican operatives, and at this point, he is considered the heir to the Donald Trump empire that he created for the Republican Party. So Ron DeSantis currently seems like the 2024 front runner, with the exception of Donald Trump. But Ron DeSantis, uh, at this point, is going to face a major test when it comes to COVID-19 at this very moment, with an intersection of COVID cases from the Delta variant, and as well as his own beliefs for the governor's, uh, in terms of his executive actions, and as well as in terms of legislation. So. In this poll that we see here by St. P. polls, Ron DeSantis wins by 3%, or not wins, but is favored by Floridians by 3% against Nikki Freed. Meanwhile, he loses to Charlie Crist by 2%. And that's pretty major. Uh, the fact that it's uh, this competitive uh, in 2021 is really not good for DeSantis because when we look at previous polls, he actually seemed to be doing pretty well. Now, this isn't the best polls to go, to go off of, but if we look at his approval rating, he originally was at 55% in May uh, with a poll in uh, conducted by the Florida Chamber of Commerce. Meanwhile, St. Pete's poll uh, sees the approval rate in tumbling to 43.7%, with 48.3% disapproving what the governor is currently doing. Now, obviously, uh, these polling numbers could very well change. We saw last summer how Ron DeSantis's polling was pretty low, and that coincided with the low point of Florida's uh, time with the pandemic. But uh, but he rebounded from that. He His popularity started to soar back up, and now we're seeing another dip. So with this, it's a question of whether this dip will continue, and it's also a question of whether Ron DeSantis uh, will have a smooth breeze through 2022, because Ron DeSantis seems like he will run for 2024 if Donald Trump does not run for president. And if he does uh, not win the 2022 Florida gubernatorial election, then that will pretty much end his chances for being president of uh, the United States. It wouldn't completely end it, but it would very well sour on the potential for Ron DeSantis running again, uh, to, for running for president, because he needs to win this race in order to establish his credibility, in order to establish that he can continue to win as an incumbent in Florida. And if he wins uh, by a very narrow margin, or if he doesn't win at all, then that casts, uh, that casts doubt as to whether or not Ron DeSantis could win nationwide. So uh, we're seeing the situation right now with COVID cases going up in Florida. Uh, Ron DeSantis is sticking to his same playbook of uh, not lifting uh, of uh, not imposing restrictions on Floridians, of not um, imposing mask mandates. And recently, he said that uh, he would bar Florida districts from. Uh, enforcing mask mandates when uh, children go back to school come August and September. Uh, s some county districts have already violated that, uh, and he threatened to um, rescind uh, rescind budgets for the, uh, for districts who conduct mask mandates in Florida, and he's also actively engaging in the culture wars by accusing the Democrats of. Um, accusing the Democrats of promulgating things like critical race theory and as well as transgender uh, uh, as well as transgender involvement in female sports when it comes to high school sports and uh, college sports. So those kinds of issues um, are currently the bread and butter of Ron DeSantis's uh, political uh, career as of now and and that's why he has a lot of support from the Trump movement, because he actively engages in those kinds of things without seeming like he's trying to kiss Trump's butt, because he is not actively mentioning Trump, but instead talking about these kinds of um, 
and these and these kinds of uh, culture war topics, he is positioning himself to be the next person to succeed Donald Trump, and he did handle the pandemic pretty well from uh, from the high point of winter to. June, but uh, ever since June, it's been going back up again and again, and now we're seeing uh, the highest point that Florida has ever had in terms of daily COVID cases of an average seven-day average of nineteen thousand two hundred fifty cases per day, uh, and that is not good for Ron DeSantis. He is keeping with his poli- uh, policies because if he detracts from his policies, then he's uh, simply given an admission that his policies are not working, so he has to commit to the policies that he's currently implementing. But that's not really good for um for right now at this very moment when cases are going really high up and where we're seeing Florida uh, becoming one of the most infected states in the 50 United States. So with that, his popularity is going down. Uh, this will probably not last, but it will. Uh, put another stain on Ron DeSantis's record that Democratic candidates like Charlie Crist can use come 2022. And when it comes to 2022, it's not going to be as uh, as much of a breeze as we thought for Ron DeSantis. Ron DeSantis still is pretty popular when it comes to um, himself, uh, with the exception of the poll that we saw with St. Pete's poll. Uh, but um, he isn't at a point where he could easily win a Florida election. That's very rare these days. Uh, In the 2018 election, he won by less than a percentage point. So it's unlikely that we'll see Ron DeSantis win by safe margins or even likely margins, um, especially with Charlie Crist. If Charlie Crist is able to... um, to take advantage of this bl- uh, of uh, the blunders that Ron DeSantis is making right now, and this is just being analytically speaking. This is not being opinion. This is not an uh, opinion that Ron DeSantis is uh, going through a blunder right now. It's just politically speaking, he's not doing very well. Uh, but if Charlie Crist is able to take advantage of that, then he could very well propel himself to the national spotlight in Florida politics, and that would be very useful for the Democrats because the primaries in Florida work in a way where the primaries happen just a couple of months before the general election happens, and uh, that's for most primaries, but when it comes to Florida primaries, they happen uh, on they happen very late around August around the summer portion the late summer portion that only gives Democrats and Republicans just a few months to reposition themselves from the primary stage to the general election stage which is why there needs to be a breakout candidate for the Democratic primary as soon as possible if they want the highest chances of winning because if they have someone like Charlie Crist being the clear front runner in the Democratic primary then Charlie Crist can start to focus more on the general election when he needs to focus on Ron DeSantis since Ron DeSantis is very good at both rhetoric and as well as being a Teflon. So with that, um, that's the state of play for the 2022 Florida governor's races. That is the situation happening right now with uh, COVID cases in Florida. And that is uh, the sum up of Ron DeSantis' approval rating as of August 8th, 2021. So that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. This video is now adjourned and I'll see you in the next one.